Paul Harvey once told a story <clears throat> about a modern man like one of us. You know, he, he was not a Scrooge. He was a kind man. He was decent and, and mostly a, a good man, generous to his family, upright in his dealings with others. But he did not believe in all the incarnation stuff that the church proclaims at Christmas time. You know, <clears throat> it just didn't make sense to him. He didn't understand it like the guy didn't understand the cross, you know. So it just didn't make sense to him. And he was too honest to pretend Otherwise, he just could not swallow the Jesus story about God coming to earth as a man. I'm truly sorry to distress you, he told his wife, but I'm going, <clears throat> I'm not going with you to church this Christmas Eve, he said. He said, I, I feel like a hypocrite and that he would much rather just stay home, but that he would wait up for them. So he he stayed and they went. And shortly after the family drove away in the car, snow began to fall. And he went to the window to watch the flurries getting heavier and heavier. Then he went back to his fireside chair and he began to read his newspaper. Minutes later, he was startled by a thudding sound. And then another and another, and at first he thought someone must be throwing snowballs against the living room window. Well, when he went to the front door, he found a flock of birds huddled miserably in the snow. They had been caught in a storm, and in a desperate search for shelter, they had uh, tried to fly through the large landscape window. Well, he couldn't let the poor creatures just lie out there. And the snow and, and, and die, you know, he remembered the barn where his children had stabled their little pony. And, and that would provide a warm shelter for the birds if, if he could direct the birds to it. So he quickly put on his coat and his boots and he, he tramped through the deepening snow to the barn. He opened the door wide and he turned on the light, but the birds did not come in. He figured that food would, would, would make a difference. So he went in and he got a, a bag of, of breadcrumbs. P please don't eat any of the breadcrumbs because they're mixed with glass now with the <laughs> Christmas ornament there. And he threw breadcrumbs out there and, and the birds would not follow. Uh, and he was trying to get them to go into the barn. It was warm. It was light. There was safety. But they, they, they wouldn't follow. And he tried to herd them, you know. He tried to shoo them. He tried to lead them. But they just would not follow him. He did everything in his power to get the birds to follow him into the barn. But they were genuinely afraid of him. Everything he did, they were afraid of him. So they were just shivering there. In the snow, and he tried, and he tried, and he tried. He had genuine compassion for the birds, but they would not follow him because of their fear. And as he knelt down in the snow, off in the distance, he heard the church bells. And it's just like, ding, something went off inside of him, and he said, if only I could become a bird. And I could fly down with them and communicate with them that, there's warmth and there's food uh, over in, in, in the little barn and, and there's a, a, a safe place and come on, let's go over there. And then it dawned on him. That's why Jesus came. Lots of times we're afraid of God. That's just been the way it is. God never intended it to be that way. You know, but God sent his son Jesus. And, and Jesus was able to communicate to us by coming a baby by, by becoming a man, the good news. And, and he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father of God except through me. And the man waited up for his family and he told them that now he understood the message of Christmas. That God came, you know, and revealed the truth and the way through his son. Jesus Christ, you know, and that's 
what he's done for you and, and for me.